while everybody was learning, it's best to respect your elders. I'll bring my daughter up in, whoop your, I'll bring my granddaughter up in. Okay, well bring them, nigga. You going to jail now? Okay, what's up, nigga? You going to jail now? Let's go, nigga. You going to jail? I was digging up a little dirt you might have missed. So did you hear what Obama said? You hear what Gianna said? We come through with the scoop. Did you hear what your mama said? You come here to cut your appetite for the drama fed. Did you hear? Come on now, you ain't nothing on the saga yet. Welcome to Did You Hear. My name is Jovian McSears, and I'm bringing you all the news you might have missed with a slight twist. It seems like we can't believe anything that comes on TV these days. Even reality TV is scripted. That man beat my ass and I had to deal with that. So I don't give a f what nobody think about nothing I got going on. Did y'all see the American Idol beef between Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey? Where apparently, while at an American Idol audition, Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey got into a slight argument. That argument does seem a little childish, but why did it escalate from there? Apparently, Mariah told American Idol producers and Barbara Walters that she needs extra security. I'm quoting now, but Nikki is unpredictable, and Mariah says she can't take a chance, and she has hired extra security. Yes, extra security. DJ Bam. Security! <laughs> Why, you may ask? All because during the argument, Nicki Minaj said, if I had a gun, I'll pull it out. Are you kidding me? This is Nicki Minaj. But it seems like having a public beef is how you get your career back. Y'all remember Star Jones? Or maybe you don't remember Star Jones. But apparently, in order to resurrect her career, she wanted to talk about Anderson Cooper. There were times that you generate information for ratings and whoa I'm sorry that I said that okay star Jones it's one thing if you want to try to make a point it's another thing just to try to make a dumb point star Jones said that this was a ratings ploy by me to get boost ratings for this show which now you were off the air right, okay then we're on break right. that's why it's so annoying me I'm telling you I'm getting so sick and tired of these TV beefs I'm waiting for the day where reality is really reality. I know by now you've either seen or heard about the debates. Apparently this year the debates are either going are going to be more about style than substance. According to most analysts, Barack Obama miserably lost the first debate. And the toss up between Joe Biden and Paul Ryan, who really won that debate? With all due respect, that's a bunch of malarkey. But the story here is not about the debaters. The story here is about the moderators. I'm trying to tell you, they either come in too soft. Way over our first 15 minutes. It's fun, isn't it? It's okay, it's great. That's great. okay. No problem. Well, you all don't have, you don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. Oh, they're going way too hard. You have refused, and again, to offer specifics on how you pay for that 20% across the board tax cut. Do you actually have the specifics or are you still working on it and that's why you won't tell voters? I think they need a more fair and balanced approach. Get somebody like your humble correspondent. Yeah, I think I'll do a great job and give it a little twist if you know what I mean. You know what? That's not a bad idea. I'm about to make my audition tape right, right now. Welcome to the presidential debate at Howard University. Okay, President Obama, what do you hope to achieve that's going to be different for the last four years? Uh, uh. Details, brother, details. Um. Romney, we all, we all know you only care about the 53%, but they're struggling too. 
what is your detailed plan that's going to help us get this economy booming? Um, this is obviously a very tender topic. I've had the occasion over the last couple of years of meeting people across the country. I was in uh, Dayton, Ohio, and a woman grabbed my arm and she said, I've been out of work since May. Can you help me? Uh, and yesterday was at a rally in Denver, and a woman came up to her with a baby in her arms and said, Ann, my husband has had four jobs in three years, part-time jobs. He's lost his most recent job, and we've now just lost our home. Can you help us? And the answer is... Time's up. I represent the rent that's too damn high party. People are working eight hours a day and 40 hours a week to some a third job. Women can't afford to take care of their children, feed their children breakfast, lunch, and dinner. My main job is to provide a roof over your head, food on the table, and money in your pocket. This is politics as usual. Playing a silly game, it's not going to happen. The rent too damn high movement, the people I'm here to represent can't afford to pay their rent. They're being laid off right now as I speak. They can't eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Listen, someone's stomach, child's stomach just growled. Did you hear it? You gotta listen like me. Okay, Let's Mr. talk McMillan. about 